Hey everybody, welcome. Mangler3m here, getting ready to start the stream with RuneScape. Looks like the game's going. Starting it up over there. Hopefully I'll put the screen on this time. I think the microphone's on. Looks like sound's working. Alright. Here we are. We just finished a string of quests on the plateau. And my keyboard's not working. Ah, there we go. It must have been right at the entrance. Okay, so I just finished talking to the commander. Hello. Good day. Yeah. Any activity? Well, Not a lot. Ready for them? Needs more supplies. Okay, so this is like, it looks like an infinite quest. They're just going to keep asking me to do different quests. So I'm pretty sure we're going to move on from Death Plateau. If we need like extra experience, uh, we could do that. But I don't have any particular interest in that the moment. So let's go ahead and look for the next quest. I'm not even going to walk back because I could just warp. Um, let's try... Let's try this. Violet is blue too. Let's see if we can do that. Talk to Posty Pete by the portal in the land of snow. Base of the White Wolf Mountain. Partially voice activated... You have to finish Violet is Blue, cross that out, so I think that already did that one. So, I'm going to set it. It says Length Medium. Let's see if we can find this one. If I set it to active, it'll show up on my map. Start of Violet is Blue 2. It's down here. So, I'm going to go here. Just go west a tiny bit, and we'll get started. All right. Made a few changes. We'll see how it looks. Alright, it said it was up here west. So, oh, here we got a uh, trail I could follow. I'm guessing I have to go into here. Yeah. Or here, maybe talk to Posky Pete. Two days until Christmas. Pete? Oh, I didn't see you standing there. You seem a little down. Is everything okay? To be completely honest, Mangler3M, not really. Ever since we opened the PPS, delivering letters has become an absolute nightmare. PPS. Portal Postal Services, of course. Concept is simple, really. Each world has a portal service employee, such as myself. They gather the letters and pop them through a designated portal. But there seems to be a problem with letters coming from the land of snow. What sort of problem? There are no letters coming through, not a single one. Usually at this time of year, I'd be up to my eye sockets in the things with it being so close to Christmas. Is there anything I can do to help you out? Aha! This is the one. If you could just pop into the land of snow through that portal, see if you can figure out why no letters have come through. A quick job to help out a friend. Sounds simple enough to me. Dum dum dum. The word simple usually means it's not. Talk to Posty. Hello? What did you just call me? I didn't call you anything. I was simply saying hello. What do you want then? A little busy, can't you see? I was helping out a friend. Heh. <laughs> I don't have the time to help you out. Look at the amount of letters I need to get to sorting. Christmas is all in a real mess this year. And if I don't get these mail sorted, then I doubt us imps will ever be allowed to help out with Christmas again. Dare I ask what happened? 
Do you remember the snow imp Benny? I uh, doesn't ring a bell. Well, he's gone missing, and at this time of year, that's a big problem. Aren't imps always teleporting around causing mischief? Nah, not old Benny. He's all about the business now. Helping out Santa, sorting decorations, all that. Doesn't have time for mucking about. Well, I've saved Christmas enough times to know when not to get involved. Besides, I've already agreed to helping Posty Pete solve this letter problem. Have you not listened to a word I've been saying? I'm working on it. How am I supposed to deliver letters to someone called Mangler3M? And I have not a clue who it is. Did you say Mangler3M? That's B. Well, that was the easiest mail I've ever delivered. Here you go. It's Violet. Who? You know, Violet. Little girl about your height. Likes to roar at everything that moves. Never heard of her. Well, the letters are from her. I should pop in. See how she is. Wait, could you do me a favor? You know, seeing how I helped you out and all that, you hardly helped me out. You just gave me my letters. Just keeping an eye out for Benny, will ya? He's been gone quite a while. People are starting to get worried. I can do that. Now, if I remember quickly, Violet's house is just up that hill. Read stack of letters, read stack of letters, read stack of letters. So I wonder if I'm supposed to do something like that. I already got my letters. No business reading other people's. Like that's a no. So that would be up the hill. Maybe Benny's up there. Thankfully they didn't have to walk all the way with the snowball again. That was a nightmare. Investigate bucket of carrots. I don't think Benny's in there. A bucket of carrots. Knock on door. And that's all I can do, so I might as well. You knock on the door. Would you mind getting that please, sweetheart? Oh my. I'll get it. Must be nice not having a roof. Maybe it's Santa. Doesn't Santa usually use the chimney? Mangler 3M! Merry Christmas, you little rascal. It is you! Oh gosh! Did you get all my letters? 
But how you been? What? Where have you been? Violet, love, give some space. Come on in out of the cold, Manglothrium. It's lovely to see you again, dear. I want to show you my new drawings and my Christmas tree. Oh, so much to tell you. It's good to see both of you again. My, my, Mingler 3M, look at how you've grown. Would you care for some food, dearie? But mom, I want to play with Mangler 3M. We'll be with you in a moment, Violet. Ever since we took Violet out to Yeti Town for the festival, her imagination has run wild. But she's all but exhausted every single book in the house. She doesn't stop reading or telling us tales of mighty dragons, saving princesses from castles, lifting curses. That's a good thing. A child's imagination shouldn't should be let loose like that. Hey, I'm not a child. I am six. And a half. They grow up so fast. One day they're in your arms, the next they're off saving the world. I won't just be saving the world. I'll be making sure all the worlds live happily ever after. Not if you don't eat your vegetables. Yuck! Can we go play now? What's the magic word? Abracadabra Alakazam! Good girl. Come, Mingler 3M. I want to show you my Christmas tree. I want to show you my tree and then we can play. I don't mind sticking around to play for a while and I'd love to see your tree. Can't seem to see a tree in the root. Violet pulls out a drawing. Look here! That's me there. And there's my tree. Oh wow. You're quite the artist, Violet. I wish we could have a real tree this year. Why can't you have a real tree? <laughs> Mom and Dad said they're too old to chop one down. So I drew this one. Hopefully Santa still stu stops at the house. I sent him a picture telling him that we don't have a tree. I'm sure he knows you've been a good girl and I'm even more sure you're going to be on his nice list. wonder if we can find you a small Christmas tree. Really? I don't see a problem with cutting any old fir tree down. We've got plenty of trees just across the yard. But we'll still have time to play? I don't think chopping down a tree should take that long. That leaves plenty of time for play. It should be a special Christmas tree and I know just where to find one. Where might that be? 
the Enchanted Christmas Tree Farm, of course. There's a map to the Hallmark Farm in one of the books that I've read. A map to an Enchanted Christmas Tree Farm? What more could you want from an adventure? Where did I leave it? Aha! Here you go. It's called Violet in the Map. Violet shows you a book that she appears to have written herself. Oh no, it looks like the map's been taken out. Don't worry, I've got an idea to help us find it. Do you want to play it with me? What's your idea? Clues. Clues? Yeah, I'll give you a clue and you have to search for it. Kind of like a clue scroll. What's a clue scroll? A scroll with a clue on it. Never mind. What's my first clue? Woohoo! I knew you'd want to play. First clue is in a dusty chest. I saw a dusty chest in the front room. Because I can search the rug. Let's go ahead and search that. Nope, that's not it. Okay, so I just... That chest in the other room, I believe I saw near the entrance. There it is. Nothing here except some dried up vegetables. I wonder how those got there. Shh, don't tell mom. I won't if you don't. River gives Violet a cheeky wink. Next clue is sitting under a big monster. I'm gonna check that rug in the other room because there was a big bear. Nothing underneath besides a lot of dust and broken crayons. That's where they went. Next clue is hot. Search fireplace. No kidding, very hot. Stay back. You got the clue right. Last clue is smelly. And it's not dead. I heard that, Violet. That was a good one. Okay, last clue is smelly. I haven't gone up the stairs yet. There's a barrel. Oh, the barrel of fish. Eh, I walked right past. It. Barrel of fish has got to be smell. Gasp. What's wrong? Violet pulls a carrot and some coal out. What are these? Some coal and a carrot. Something fishy's going on here. And it's not the barrel next to us. Maybe the Snowman King sent his snowmen to steal our map. Was not expecting that. Who's the Snowman King? Who? It's 
Snowman King rules over all the snow, wants to steal all the Christmas trees. He must have taken the map to the enchanted Christmas tree farm. Quick, we might be able to catch them leaving. Hurry, hurry, follow me. Oh, do slow down, will you, Violet? I can't, Mom. We're on another adventure. Looks like you've got roped into playing for a while. Better not keep her waiting. I see her out there. Now shut your eyes. Don't open them till I say so, okay? Are you gonna throw a snowball at me as soon as I shut them? I promise I won't. Okay, I'm shutting them. Keep them shut until I say. Okay. I'll know if you peek. You start to hear Violet running around in the snow. You hear Violet and some other voices giggling. Peek, keep my eyes closed. Keep my eyes closed. Just one more minute. Oh no, Mangler 3M, snowmen! Where did these come from? Arg me hearties! What the? No, 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 you're on the wrong script. What do you mean I'm on the wrong script? How do we know it's not you on the wrong script? Unlike you, pal, I actually listened to Violet when she told us what to do. Actually talking snowman? But how? It's the snowman king and his friend and they've got our map. We need to do something. Let me find some armor to protect us. Aha! Mom and Dad were right. Carrots do help me see better in the dark. Don't worry. I'll get them. Oof. Did I get it? Oof. Snow imps? Talk to Snow Imp, talk to Snow Imp, talk to Bile. Did I get them? What are Snow Imps doing here? They're my friends. We should ask them about the missing Snow Imp. I did say I'd look for him out there. Look out for him. What's going on here? Playtime with Violet. Do either of you know anything about the missing snow in? Missing snow in. I didn't know there was a missing snow in. What's their name? I'll keep an ear out. His name is Benny. Oh, Benny. We know where he is. Oh, that's a relief. Well, it's not technically true. We swore to know where he is. We were playing with him about two weeks ago now that you mention it. We haven't seen him since. What were you playing? Hide and don't peek. 
It was his turn to hide. We never did manage to find him. You mean to tell me that Benny may or may not still be playing a two week long game of hide and dopey? Could be? Now that's commitment. We should really go find him. And then we can all play together. Where were you playing with him? Just a little bit of the way down through the trees, you'll find an abandoned farm. Let's go find him. Same thing. All right. The snow imps said they were playing at this abandoned farm here. Let's have a quick look, see if we can find it. But I can't see anything. That's... I wonder if it's because you're wearing a bucket on your head. It's not a bucket, it's a helmet. We need it in case of more snowmen. Right, well in that case, you protect me while I look around for... Search abandoned crate. No snow imp in here. Let's look somewhere else. Search the well. No snow imp hiding here. Let's look somewhere else. No snow imp in this abandoned crate. Can't go in there, but I don't see anything. Probably inside the building. Oh, or in the chest. I hear something moving inside the chest. Here goes nothing. You might want to shut your eyes. But I already can't see any. There's Benny Claus. Talk to Benny Claus. Ah, oh, sweet Sarah Doman. Snow never felt so good. Oh, and snow never tasted so good. Who's that? Who are they? A kid wearing a bucket. Not exactly the first thing I'd exist. I'd, I'd have guessed I'd see when I was freed. Hold on, I want to see. Wow, everything is really bright. Benny, it's you, Mangler 3 m of course, you'd be the one to save me, always getting me out of sticky situations. Are you alright? Nope, I'm definitely not alright. You try sitting in a dark box for a couple weeks. Why didn't you come out of the box? Not that simple, kid. What happened? Me and a few buddies were playing a game. I see where this is going. Classic. Well, it seemed like the perfect hiding spot at the time, so I hopped right on in and then... Bang. Ah, the lid slammed shut and I was stuck. Can't help imps teleport. How did you get, not get that board? At least you got out before Christmas. At least you won your game. I'm going to go with, I can't imps teleport. I was under the impression that imps could teleport. Not that easy, you know. How'd you not get bored? There are only so many times you can sing the same song, you know. At least you got out before Christmas? It's okay, you're out now. It's only two days until Christmas. Two days until Christmas. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm in big trouble. What's the matter? I haven't done any of the decorating of Yeti Town. Yeti Town? I've been there. Why would you, a snow imp, be decorating for a town for Yeti? 
of Yeti. Well, over the last few years, as I've helped Santa out more and more, I've wanted to take on a more creative role in the business. Right? After chatting to the big, big boss man, I offered up my services for the decoration of Yeti Town for Christmas. Figured it would help scratch the creative itch. I'm sorry, but I don't see where this is going. This year I had such great plans in the decorating, but kept pushing it until last minute to make sure everything was just perfect. Then I get distracted with into playing games and this happens. Santa will never let me help out again. Can we go see Yeti Town again, Mangler 3M? Um, I don't know if that... Please, please, please... I haven't seen my Yeti friends in ages. A large bang sounds off in the distance. And the whole computer shakes. What was that? That sounds like it came from the town. I suppose one quick peek can't hurt. Doesn't seem too far away from here. Should probably also investigate the source of that bang. Yay! You want to come with us, Benny? Oh no! They've set my bloody tree on fire! Language Benny. Got an impressionable child with us. Not a single Christmas decoration in sight either. We'd better see what they're shouting about. You've ruined Christmas! We didn't ruin nothing. We're going to be on the naughty list this year. Audible tears of sadness. What if Santa didn't, didn't visit us because he thinks we hate Christmas? My tree! You burnt down my prized Christmas tree. Benny is back. Perhaps he sh shouldn't have come back. I doubt he's here to fix this awful mess. You know him's caused us enough problems. I have no idea why Santa thought it would be wise to put your kind in charge. What do you mean your kind? Not our fault a bit Benny abandoned us. Probably couldn't handle the pressure. I didn't. Arguing erupts all over Yeti Town once again. Wish, wish. It's no use, pal. We need something awful loud to shut this lot up. And besides, what's the point? They hate me now. The argument comes to an abrupt halt at the sound of her roar. Oop. Hello, everyone. My name is Violet. I am six and a half. Can't forget the extra half. It's not Benny's fault. Even without Benny, they've made a huge mess. It's all only because Mango 3M and I are, are here to turn Yeti Town into Christmas Town. Whoa, wait, what? We are? We're saved. They're here to help us. Audible sounds of hope. Sobs of hope. It's no use. I'm a failure. Santa is going to want nothing to do with me. How about you sit down for a while? You've gone through quite a traumatic experience. I can't imagine getting trapped in a box that has done you any favors. Don't worry, Benny. I suppose with help from my assailants, you might be able to fix this in time. Woohoo! Talk to them. They'll be able to tell you what is left to do. Okay, Violet, let's pick an assistant to help us out. Pick Brad, Susie, Timothy, Al, the Snow Impling. Snow Impling appears to be daydreaming. My name is Violet. What's your name? 
I'm Susie. Nice to meet you, Violet. Happy Christmas, Susie. Oh, it's Christmas, all right. And it, these years is proving stressful and all the drama going on. It's great that you found Benny. Seems to, you, he seems to be in no state to decorate. I'm very glad the two of you have volunteered to help out. How can we turn Yeti Town into Christmas Town? Christmas decorations, or whatever it is. If you imps decided it would be a fantastic idea to put the entire lot on the on the tree at once, before it went up in flames. Now they're gone. What can we decorate if someone set all the decorations on fire? Oh, how can we decorate? Well, we've got no other choice but to go around town and ask the residents if they'd be willing to donate anything they can. I hope they're willing. They've been haven't been too happy when we arrived. Objective: gather decorations, knock on doors, ask presents, and minister. Well, let's go ask. See you in a bit, Susie. Thank you, Boo. You're already helping one of the assistants. Come chat with me when you're done. Okay, so I go one by one. And... Here's a door. Who's there? Mom says it's not supposed to talk to strangers. Violet! Violet who? Uh, Violet is blue. Why is she blue? Is she a snow elf? Imp? Is she sad? I just need Christmas decorations for the town. Do you have any? I just made some, but I can't reach the door handle and my parents aren't home. Oh no. Don't be sad, blue Violet. Oh, I know. I'll slide them under the door. It was a hairy blue hands pressed some decorations under the door. Wow, these are pretty. Thank you. One fourth of the piles of decorations could. Let's ask Elizabeth over here. The Yeti looks like she's up to no good. Here's another door down here. Got the mug in. Knock knock. Oh no, we've been caught. Oh, hello? Quick, pretend to be an adult, or we'll get into trouble for nicking the eggnog. You hear a yeti child doing her best to put on a child adult's voice. Ahem. Show me I be at your most humble service. You sound like an idiot, not an adult. Violet, perhaps we should try a diff, but we don't have enough decorations yet. From within the pub, you hear a lot of crashing and banging. What are they doing in here, Mangler? 3M? A garland is slowly fed through the gap in the door. Here, take these and leave us alone. Yay, Merry Christmas. Go around, see if we can get behind here. This looks like I'm um, here. We can check the barrel. Maybe there's something in there. We need to be on a member server to do this. Okay. How about here? It looks like footprints. I don't see any doors here. I don't think I can climb, yeah. Got Elizabeth on the other side. Okay, I was already over there, right? I had to go. So I need to go down and go down. This was a dead end.
Alright, already tried that door. I can investigate the burning Christmas tree. Fire! Not the good kind. Ah, okay, so this door I haven't tried yet. Remember I got that one already. Knock, knock. Why, hello there, sweet girl. Excuse me, do you have any spare Christmas decorations, please? Seeing as you ask so nicely, let me get my husband to check for you. Gordon! But There's a little girl here that needs your decorations from the loft. Won't be a moment, Poppet. Poppet? There you go. Handle them with care. They're antiques. Thank you so much. Looks like an empty room on the other side. Alright, got one more to go. Is there another one down there across the hill? There is. Oh, that's not a house, that's a rock that looks like a house. I don't see any more houses down here. But there's Taylor over here. Let's go ask Taylor. I'm in no mood to talk right now. Then fine. Choose a fir tree. That would be a new tree, but I don't I think I still need decorations before I come get the tree. I'll come get the tree later. We need one more house. Where was the other house? So something said examine when I'm not still and then we have to come back. But I'm gonna keep looking for houses first. I've gotten the one to the left, I've gotten the one to the right, I've gotten the one up here to the right. Maybe there's another one on the left. on the other side of this building. Yep. That was it. Knock door. Knock knock. Anyone home? Hey, 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 allow me to introduce myself. My name is Korg. How can I help you? My name is Violet. We're looking for Christmas decorations to help decorate. Saving Christmas, eh? I'd be more than happy to help you. I'll nab some off my tree. Wow! You have your own tree. I've had far too many baubles on it. Anyway, here you go. Thank you, Kong. Have a good Christmas. That should be enough. Not enough to decorate the whole world. We still need to tell Susie we got everything. Wish we could take some back to my house. Susie, Susie, look at all these. This bauble looks like my dad. It's big, blue, and round. Aren't those just lovely, Violet? As you seem to be having fun, how would you help putting them up around the town? E, getting quite late, and we'll do it. There she goes again, signing me up for the hard work. Where should we put them, Susie? Adding some more color and lights to the lamp posts and some reeds on the door. Ought to be good enough, don't you think? Yeah, I love decorating. Alright, add decoration to houses and lamp posts. Decorate lamp posts. Long one. Decorate lamp posts. Done. Let's find the next one. Decorate door. That's better. Decorate that door. 
I like this one. And I know we got two doors over here. One door over there, one door over there. Back to the same doors that we just came from. Perfect! And that last door up front. Whoop, got lamp posts here that I just walked right past. And then one more door. Now we have one more lamp post. Does anyone see a lamp post? There's one over here. This says examine lamp post. It doesn't say decorate. I think that one does not qualify. How about it? Oh, here we go. Decorate. Go up the hill for this one. Looks like we're done decorating. What do you think? So much color. Decorating for Christmas is everything I wanted. Let's show Susie. Susie, did you see the town? Violet, what a fantastic job you've done. You both did. Thank you for helping out. It looks like some of the other assistants could do with some help now. If you're still happy to do so. We're on it. Alright, Brad, what do we got? Boss doesn't look happy, eh? It's all really falling apart for him. Good thing we're here to help out. I'm glad you are. I was previously charged with Christmas tree duty, but as you can see, it hasn't quite gone to plan. How can we help out? A pretty last name Taylor runs a farm northwest of the town. He own, owes me a couple favors. I'm not exactly in her good books at the moment. Dare I ask? Well, you see, Taylor and Benny have been working on a special tree together. I'm guessing the very special tree happens to be the one on fire. Mm. Yep. I worry if I try to get another tree from her, they'll stuff me and use me as a tree topper. What do you think, Violet? Reckon we can convince Taylor to give Brad another chance and get another tree? You really get back, get to pick a Christmas tree? You can choose whatever tree you like if you manage to convince Taylor to help us out. Woohoo! Christmas is saved! Not yet, you little rascal. Let's go and find this farm. We'll bring you back an awesome tree. Objective. Visit Taylor, pick a tree. Since we know where we're going, because we've already been here. I'm confident we will find it. Wow! A real life Christmas tree farm. You must be Taylor. We're wondering if you could help us out with a new Christmas tree. Let me guess, Brad sent you two because of the awful mess he created when he can't help but get involved. The tree was fine, just didn't need fireworks. Fireworks have nothing to do with Christmas. Brad says he's sorry. As he should be, it took us years to craft the perfect tree, and now the only way to proudly display it would be to be in an urn on the mantelpiece. I like to think it was just a little mistake. Just a mistake? Do you know how long it takes to grow a tree? Well, they don't just pop into existence, so I'm guessing quite a while. I've always wanted to grow my own Christmas tree. Well, I don't see how I could say no to that. Feel free to have a browser on the tree farm. Pick out any tree you like. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Mango 3M, let's get Benny a new bloody tree. Violet, don't just copy the words. 
You don't know the meaning of. Your parents might think I'm teaching you naughty words. Violet well, lets out a little giggle. Whoops. Too green. Too straight. Too tall. Too smelly. Inspect wonky tree. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's a little bit wonky, don't you think? No doubt by the time we haul it over the town, there won't be any leaves left. That one was headed straight for the wood chipper. See, Violet? How about one of these nice ones next to it? What's the wood chipper? It means a tree was going to live on another farm. You can have it for free of charge if you like it. Please, Mangler 3M, let's pick this one. Uh, I guess with a little love, care, and some decorations, that'll look quite special. I think all the TLC in the world isn't going to help that poor thing. Let's take the wonky one, please, Taylor. We'll take the wonky one, please, Taylor. As if by magic, the trees chopped down, darted off into the center of Yeti Town. As you're doing business with you both, enjoy your new tree. Quick, we should make sure Brat... Brad doesn't burn it down. Good thinking, Violet. Brad! What is that? It's your new tree. Do you like it? Did you really call that a tree? This is Taylor playing a cruel joke on me, isn't it? Nope. Taylor was more than happy to help us out. And you did say Violet could choose whatever tree she wanted. I can't wait to decorate it. I've never decorated a tree before. We could add fireflies and ribbons and paper snowmen. It would be the best star ever. Where did the fire go? We dumped as much snow on it as we could and then used the last of the decoration that didn't go up in flames to build the base for that thing you're calling a tree. It's so pretty, the best stage for the best tree. Well, thank you both for the help. Well, we'll help to decorate it shortly, but for now, can we see if you can help out the other assistants? Talk to Benny Claw. I'm really sorry I didn't have the heart to carry on. The town is in shambles and everybody hates me. Talk to my assistants over by my tree. Benny burst into tears at the mention of the prize Christmas tree. Well, Violet, you seem to have rallied the town to band together to fix this mess. Let's see if we can help out. I wonder if Mom, Mom and Dad are with me. Alright, Timothy, what's up? Mommy told me to keep quiet, so she put me in charge of making sure it's still snowing. You're doing a really good job. Help! Where's Posty? Oh, there's Posty. Help! What's wrong? They've gone and nicked it. Nicked what? Santa's blooming naughty and nice list. There I was, checking it once. Why'd you have the list in the first place? Isn't that list strictly for Santa's eyes only? I don't see why this is any of your business. Anyway, as I was saying, put it down for a second, went to check it twice, and it was gone. Where did it go? Well, it didn't just sprout legs and walk off. Maybe it did. It's those pesky kids around the town. I wonder what they do something so dodgy. Look, perhaps 
you could help me out. Have a chat with the kids around town, see if you can track it down. If Santa realizes the list is gone, he'll be up. I'll be out of a job. Don't worry, we'll find it. Talk to the imps and yeti children around town and see if they know where the list is. Let's try Elizabeth over here. We're looking for Santa's list. List? I ain't seen no list. What are you accusing me of? We didn't accuse you of anything. We're just trying to find that list. No list means no presents. No presents? It wasn't me, I swear. I did have it, but not for long. I gave it to Peter. That was easy. Let's go find Peter. Please don't tell on me. Peter, 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 pumpkin eater. Where is Peter? Examine well. I bet if I toss a coin in it, it will go down well. Let's talk to the implant. Have you seen Peter? Snow implant appears to be daydreaming. I think that means don't talk to him. Wow, somebody said Neil. I don't know where Neil is, but Peter may be near him. Can't talk right now, I'm busy. Investigate well. It's another coin joke. Peter, Peter, Peter. Where are you, Peter? Could be down that way. I haven't been down that way yet. In fact, he probably is down that way. I've already found out if he ever I don't think he just ran away here. He probably always been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a building down here on the right. With Peter's name on it. Okay, there's Mozzie. Can't talk. Busy. I don't know how to go around this building. I will climb up this way. See if I slide down. Another well. In our room. Oh, I'm going in circles. Oh, there's some stairs. Should I try going up the stairs? Doesn't look like an area I can go in, but the fact that there's stairs means. Be hmm. Oh, there's Peter. Did I miss him or did they just make him appear? We're looking for Santa's list. We were told you might have it. Busted, that Elizabeth. Any sign that she may be in trouble will spill the beans. No list means no presents, so no need to get back to Santa. I don't have it anymore. Okay, let me guess. You passed it along to someone else. You got me. Who did you give it to? The girl was done and gave it to Mozzie. What do you mean after you were done with it? What is this, an interrogation? I've given you what you need. 
let's go find Mati. Alright, we just found Mati and she said she was busy, so let's say what we intended to find. Mati? Hello, Violet. So happy to see you here. We spoke to Peter. He told us you've got Santa's list, so drop the act and us the list. Whoa, easy there. Such aggression. You can't trust us. Or you can trust us. We're here to save Christmas. First, I want full immunity on anything that may or may not have happened to the contents of the list. The list is with Neil, who is adding the finishing touches. He was up in the big house on the hill. Thank you, Motsi. See you again soon. Fishing touches. What are you kids up to? Who's on the naughty list? Neil was up and to the left. Not Al. Neil. Isn't Neil an in? He is. Neil isn't a yeti. Oh, now I get it. Infish mischief corrupting the innocent yeti children. We need Santa's list. You still have it? Tossed it, didn't I? Tossed it where? Out the window. Hot whiff of an investigation going around. What did you all want with the list? Simple plan, really. We moved all our names back onto the nice list. How am I not surprised? Oops. That was a misclick. Did you find it? We're still looking. Where did you say it was last? Tossed it out the window there. There it is. Violet, without any hesitation, grabs the list and pulls some crayons out. Violet, what are you doing? Nothing. Violet sticks out her tongue as she concentrates. That's better. What'd you do to that list? Everyone should be on the nicest. It'd be sad if any Yeti or Imps missed out on Christmas. You're a thoughtful one, Violet, but you're as cheeky as a snow imp. Your secret is safe with me. Let's get it back. Return it to post. Violet hands over the list. How strange. What seems to be the matter? Doesn't look the same as when I last left it. Not to worry. That San is a great judge of character, and if he deems everybody nice, then who are we to question it? Yeah. Consider this list checked twice. I had better get this back to the big boss before he realizes it was missing. Let's look at all the assistants helped out. Let's go tell... Looks like all the assistants help out. Let's go tell Benny. Maybe he'll let us decorate the tree now. Hey Benny, we've done it. And what about that thing in the middle? I suppose us sorting that out might make you finally happy? I suppose so. Hey buddy, we're doing you a real solid here. The least you could do is be a little more enthusiastic. I didn't hear any complaining from your assistants. In fact, they were more than willing to help Violet and I out. You're right, I'm sorry. You've done a fantastic job already. I guess I just a little upset about your situation. I know how to cheer you up. How so? I'll decorate the tree so that the bestest tree in the lands. 
If you like, you could help. I think it's best if you decorate the tree without me, Violet. I'd only mess it up. Aw. It would have been fun to just do it with you. But we'll be sure to make you the best tree we can. Alright, I will be right back. Give me one second. 